Hello, YouTubes. This is my favorite tournament of the year, Combo Breaker. Combo Breaker 2019, to be specific. And it's my favorite for a whole bunch of reasons. It's the people, it's the organization, it's how many games are available, it's how many casuals are available, it's the area. Uh, it's not the area, it's a whole bunch of stuff, though. And uh, look, here's a secret look at the secret upstairs where the secret stuff happened. Like the secret staff room. What are you guys doing? Hello. We're on interviews. Ah. Yeah. I'm dragging. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the introduction. Have you ever walked into a room and you noticed like everybody's staring at you and while you were walking up the stairs just a little bit ago something like kind of tickled your throat so you really have to cough and you like can't not cough anymore and then you cough? <coughs> <laughs> All right, well. Man, I got here too late. Okay, that actually is Davidable, though. Might be able to eat that later. Anyway, I'm in the back. Combo breaker. In the secret zone. Where only secret people are walking around. What up, Vic? What's going on? Streaming right now? Nah, I'm just taking a video. Okay, cool. What up, everybody? Have Hello. Fun. Hope you guys are enjoying Combo Breaker. Who is here and everybody that's watching at home? Hello. So, this is the Street Fighter side. What do we got here? Uh huh. It's Robert Paul. Who you know as a top level photographer, one of the best in all video games. But I know as Delirium, an old poster on IRC, and the guy who, haha, <laughs> just looked at me and realized I'm talking to him, so I'm gonna look over this way. And who um, was a known rage quitter back in the day. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna be now. Okay, now he is. Nope, he's not. He's, like, he's doing his business, alright, I'm not, I'm just being a dick. Anyway, this is the Street Fighter side. Boy, that is a shiny view. Shiny, shiny view right there. Hey, so how do you how do you handle such a shiny view? Turn my exposure way down. Keep those reflections in check. Yeah. But I have first-hand experience. You do have, yeah. There, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so then, outside of the secret area is the frontal region. Oh man, that's a super good match, cool. I'll have to get to archives later. Uh, I've been hanging out in here, watching a lot, just hanging out uh, in the crowd. Oh wow, Tokido coming to play. Um, I haven't gotten to watch that much Street Fighter this weekend on account of I've been doing Mortal Kombat commentary, which has been super great. But you know, I gotta I'll have to go back later and check out the archives because I know this tournament's always super sick for, uh... oh my god, it's loud. He Check understands out this nerd where wallet. the shortcomings were, and now he can play around that and get it going yes. here. Sonia in the corner. However, I feel like he should have switched away from this stage because there's escape interactables in on both sides. But maybe he you know, wants to use them himself. So he goes by Mr. Aquaman. If you don't know who this guy is, the NRS That's a great way to do it. And, and a nice tick throw off the floor too. His favorite character actually is Aquaman. Coast coast he didn't even play Aquaman in Injustice. He just likes Aquaman. It's such a weird situation. I've never met such a weirdo. Anyway, here's the front over on this region. I think both both games right now are in semis, so you know they're all packed. Everybody wants to watch. What do we got? Oh yeah, Cusco versus Burrito Voorhees. That's cool. Did you know that he's called himself Burrito Voorhees because his favorite food is the burrito, and his favorite character is Jason Voorhees? Let's go, Rick. Howdy. Hi. Hey. 
Did you know that his favorite food is burrito and his favorite video game character is Jason Voorhees? Yeah. You know the original name why he called himself Burrito Voorhees? That's why, yeah, I asked him. Well, the real reason also is because he used to be Forever King Jr. Right, of course, he needed a new name. And he was trying to get under the ESO waiver. For, he was under 18 for MKX. Oh, are this a secret time? Shouldn't this not be on video? Yeah, it's fine because he never got top eight for the money. Wow! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want to do a little instant replay here because this was hilarious. So this hit happens right here, and he's not even dead, right? But <laughs> Problem X's number one fan over there on the left has already left the building. <laughs> he's <already> walking. <laughs> Look at his expression. Oh my god, that's too funny. <laughs> Even Problem X himself has an actual smile on his face, like as he's walking back, you know, and then we were sitting there and he was like smiling and he and Punk were kind of joking around and stuff, but Logan? <laughs> there, let's, there, come on. Look at this guy. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Who can say where the road goes? Where
there's people who leave and people who come in, you know, it's like a little, there's a wave. Some people care about Mortal, which is coming up next, some people care about Tekken, which uh, just happened. And a little transfer of bodies. So here's what it looks like from this little booth in the middle of Combo Breaker. Oh, look, 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 look. Alright, well now everybody else has sat back down, so it's an inappropriate time to do this, which is why I'm standing up and checking it out. <laughs> Probably should have waited until that guy sat down. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going live in three minutes. Three minutes away, grab your seats and get hyped. on Twitter, NRS Esports. On behalf of everybody here at Combo Breaker, on behalf of all the sponsors, and to everybody that made this possible, thank you so much.